Hey everyone, it's time for some purple power. <laughs> Cleaning out my basket again. Oh, I just found some more. Okay, there's a bunch of colors for you. So we have um, Craft Smart Robin's Egg Blue and White. And this is Craft Smart Grape Taffy. These are going to be our lighter colors in this pour. And then we have Premier Violet, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue Hue. This is Deco Art Purple Metallic. And this is my Lucas um, Phalo Blue, just for accenting some of these colors. And then we have. Oh, let's see. Okay, this is Deco Art Extreme Sheen Amethyst. This is that really metallic y paint that dries super, super shiny, like chrome. So we'll see how that dries in this painting. This one, don't want to use that, that is base paint. And this one is Craft Smart Plum. So, I got a little blue, got a little purple, and a hint of the cobalt metallic. So I'm going to do three cups and we're going to do a pour, not just a flip cup. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. And I'm going to spray first with the WD-40 spray. I only use this to release paint from my cup because I don't like the white being stuck in the bottom. Boy, have I got a lot of cups to wash. <laughs> it's so nice outside this week, so I don't mind sitting out in the driveway and rinsing cups out. My songbird, my mockingbird's out there. He's really tweet. You'll probably hear them. Let's get these shook up here. I was going to do a purple with black, and I thought, hmm, let's keep it light. It's summertime, right? It's warm weather time. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start this pour with the... Um, Premier Violet. And I'm trying to layer, I'm not shove down through yet. Let's follow that with the Extreme Sheen. Since it's pretty much the same base. And we'll do the grape taffy. Oops, I missed one. Duh. <laughs> okay. And the purple metallic from Deco Art. So I'm going to break that up. I have some Payne's Gray here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Love this color. I need to do some more paintings with this color. Alright, so now I want to break it up with some white. And we're going to go with the phalo blue. I like to put dark colors around my white. Get rid of this plum. Okay. 
I'm going to get just a tiny bit of the cobalt blue hue. Because I'm going to shove that robin's eggs nest down. Robin's egg. Okay. I'm golden there. no room. <laughs> okay. I think I should stir those just a little bit. I swirled that one a little too much, I think. Okay, let's cross our fingers and hope we get enough purple. It's all night long he does that. <laughs> Silly bird. Okay. Let me just move it together here. cells up. So we are going to get rid of this corner here. That is so pretty right there. Let me show you. Isn't that cool? Alright, so I'm going to start tilting. Coming this way first. it off. I don't like all that phalo blue, so I'm going to dump a little bit of that. Oh, I'm going to lose that spot too. You can do this with a piece of cardboard too if you don't want to use your gloved hand. A lot of people don't wear gloves, so you can do it with cardboard. Such a silly bird. I lost, I'm gonna lose my pretty little cells there. Definitely had enough paint. I'm getting rid of quite a bit of it here. That might open up some more cells for us. I'm not digging this corner here, so that's that Payne's Gray. It just did not work out with this. It has a bluish purple hue to it. I thought it would be okay.
Boy, that green is... <laughs> Hmm. My hand is pretty. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put I'm gonna make a small cup and I'm gonna go through this. Oh my gosh, I have paint all over me. It's all over my mic cord. <laughs> Messy girl. Okay, let me use this. So I'm going to do a little bit of white, a little bit of that extreme machine, a little bit of grape taffy, and the purple metallic, and just a dot of arctic. Okay. Don't be afraid to play. Some goodness in this cup yet. I want to get out of there. All right, let that set for just a second, and then I'm going to stretch it out a little bit more. And you can listen to the mockingbird while I think. <laughs> Great sound effects in the background, don't I? <laughs> Every night. He's cute. He's not out front. He's across the street in a tree somewhere. When he's out front, he's really loud. Reminds me of when I used to watch uh, Debbie Coles, the birds chirping. She lives on the Cayman Islands. And I think Michelle Ed House, Mickey Art, I think you can hear birds in the background at her house too. They all paint with their windows open. <laughs> mm. I almost hooked up my air conditioner today and I thought, mm-mm, I wanna enjoy a low electric bill for a little while. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to let this set overnight and let it develop, see what happens. We may be painting over this one. Oh, that cord is filthy. Look at my arms. I'm a mess. <laughs> They're still coming up. Um, the violet is coming up. But I don't want to mess with it too much. I kind of like that loop in there. Because that... Um, is that extreme sheen so it may um, do something really cool as it's drying 
But if I don't like it, we can pour over it. It's not a big deal. I pour over lots of paintings. I actually did six this week that I poured over that I didn't really care for. I don't want to waste my varnish on something I don't like. and My husband didn't like them either, so you have to have a couple of votes. Because <laughs> what I don't like, people love. And what I think is gorgeous, people are like, meh. <laughs> Everybody has their own taste. Yep, I'm going to leave it there. So click that subscribe button and click on the bell next to it for notifications. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join me on Facebook um, and on and my Etsy shop. All the links are below. Shop with me on Amazon. Get all your supplies. Hmm. Pretty, pretty. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. It was a pretty good painting night, using up leftovers. We shot four videos, five videos. So I'll be sure to show this one on Facebook when it dries because I want you to see that extreme sheen. But it um, doesn't mean we'll leave it. <laughs> so thanks for joining me, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.